As we give our moms the much deserved respect and love this week, we want to take a moment to get some advice on how we ourselves can better moms. Here to help us with that is Abby Watts. I should say make better moms and who better to talk with. Abby just got off air herself, right? Yes. Yes, I host the morning show on Spirit FM 90.5, so it's kind of a juggling like moms do. We juggle. And we're switching roles. We were having some fun with. You're normally the one asking questions, but you wrote a book these days to help moms out there. And we were chatting. I'm a still relatively new mom. What advice do you have? Let's just start broad. What advice do you have out there that you definitely want to share and that you wanted to get across in your book? Well, I think that um, a lot of moms fall into this pitfall of um, having to constantly entertain our kids. We feel like we have to plan every minute. Every weekend has to be packed with fun. And that's just not how it how it is, especially, um, you know, I was a single mom for a while and we are in these broken homes. You know, we call them broken homes when you get a divorce and you feel like you have to fix it. Mm -hmm. And so let's fix it by over scheduling, over planning, feeling like we have to do Disney one weekend, the park the next weekend. But some of the best times come when we're just sitting at home, enjoying each other's company, exploring in the backyard. I like that. That's a really good one because I, I know some of my friends that are also parents kind of do try to plan everything. So that's one of your don'ts. What are some do's that you may have for moms out there? Oh gosh. Well, again, the book is written um, advice for single moms. And so some of my do's, I would say do and I, I pray every night with my kids before bed. We do our bedtime prayers and the litany of, you know, who they're praying for, the stuffed animals, the grandparents mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I always, we always pray for their dad too. You know, we always say our prayers for, for their dad so that they know family is first, family is important, family is, um, is everything. And no matter what, we love each other and, and we love them. So that's definitely one of the do's. One of the messages to make sure and get across. Mm -hmm. Yep. What, so we've addressed kind of scheduling. We've addressed ways to be thankful for everybody mm -hmm. in your life, no matter what the situation sure. may be. What are some other takeaways that you can share with moms out there? Well, I don't know about you, but I feel like I have to constantly prove that I am a mom, first of all, that I'm mothering, that I'm paying attention to my kids, yes. but also that I'm doing a good job. And so I find myself putting the camera in my kid's face to take the picture, to say, here's yes. the great moment we had. And I can only imagine how they're receiving that from me, that I'm constantly taking their picture or posting. So I would say quit, you know, comparing ourselves to one another and don't feel like you have to prove yourself to anybody. I mean, you're doing your best to trust your instincts and just go with what your gut tells you. I like that you brought that up because it seems like, and just based on my 16 months now as a mom, there is a lot of judgmental. People do want to share advice or they kind of give you a side eye if mm -hmm. they don't agree. And there's a lot of parenting styles out there. So not really listening to anybody, that's sometimes harder than, than it is. It's easy just to say that, right. but really we internalize that. How can we have that battle and, and be strong within ourselves? I think you just have to look at your kids and say, you are, you're God's first, you're mine after that. And I have been given this instinct and, and nobody knows you better than I do. And so I'm just going to do what I feel is the right thing to do. I was, and it's it's just so frustrating how uh, do moms do judge each other out oh, there we do all the time. And I, I think you said it right. It, it comes from a good place. Yes. We want to help yes. because it's something that worked for us. I just chatted with a friend about this yesterday, the whole cry it out versus feed on demand. And that yep. will start a war. I mean, you yes. will go like punch each other <laughs> over it. And it's really what works for your family, I think. Our big one was the people who are like very scheduled versus people who are more loosey goosey. Yeah. And the big battle of that. I mean, parents get really passionate about their yeah. styles. Yeah, I was a scheduler. I was like, <laughs> I'm feeding that baby at seven, 10, one and four <laughs> on the nose. And see, I was the opposite. And we're having a good discussion. And we still like each other. See, That's I think crazy. it's a perfect example of what you can do. <laughs> Abby, I think at the end here, we got to go ahead and point out your book again. My calendar is written in crayon. Where'd you come up with the title real quick? Well, it was just about, you know, trying to balance mom life and work life. And sometimes when you got to write it down, you got to grab the closest thing and it's a crayon. It's a crayon. Abby, thank you so much. And where can people hear you again? Uh, Spirit FM 90.5 and the book is available everywhere. Books are sold. There you go. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.